Welcome back to another episode of 40 TV with your host 40. Today I'm uh, excited to introduce another plugin for Final Cut Pro X. Um, it's actually an effect. The effect is a vintage style effect you can apply to stills as well as video. Right now I have Final Cut Pro X open, but you're going to want to close it. After you download the plugins, you're going to open up your user folder, navigate to your movies folder, and open up motion templates. After doing so, you'll browse to the effects folder, double click. If you do not have a 40TV folder here, you're going to drag and drop the 40TV folder that you downloaded when you downloaded this plugin. The plugin again is available at www.40tv.com slash downloads. If you already have a 40TV uh, folder here because you've downloaded another effect from us, double click on 40TV and drag the Vintage Plus folder into here. You'll find that by opening the 40TV folder in the download. Let's go ahead and minimize this. If you had Final Cut Pro X open, go ahead and close it. Um, reopen it after installing the plugin. Right now I have a still and a video clip here. I'm going to apply the Vintage uh, Plus effect to both of them. So I'll navigate on over to my effects uh, panel. You can access it by clicking on this button here. Alternatively, you can go up to window and say uh, media browser effects. We had it open, so I closed it. I'm going to scroll down to the 40 TV category. You're going to see the new vintage effect here. If we scrub over it, it's going to show us a preview of what this looks like. I'll first apply it to the still. The still is a picture of my dog bandit. Um, so in the Vintage Plus plugin, you have a few options. Number one, you can control uh, the color of the, the film, the leak of color that's uh, being exposed to the film. We have a blue and tan leak, a brown and pink, a pink and green, and orange and brown. You can control the saturation of this uh, gradient that's being applied. You can bring it all the way out. The effect is uh, then... Uh, very minimal. Turn it all the way up and uh, it uh, can be overpowering depending on the clip. Defaults at 75. The softness is going to control how soft because most vintage uh, film was pretty soft. Now this this pick here is taken was taken as pretty sharp. Um, Bandit is really in focus so this could be cranked up all the way and you're gonna see uh, very uh, the softness is not gonna be too crazy. You can choose whether there's noise uh, added. If the noise is on, you're not going to see it very heavily here, but when I turn on the, when I add it to the video clip, you'll see it a lot more. The noise amount defaults to 25. It is auto animated, so as the clip, clip plays, the noise will be animated throughout the clip, depending on whether it's on or not. Let's switch over the video clip. I'll select the video clip, double click on Vintage Plus to apply it to that clip. And here with the default settings, we can see it's already applied the, this nice little vintage look. I can turn it on and off. Maybe let's try the pink and green. Again with it on and off. I increase the saturation of the gradient maybe. Maybe decrease it. Depending on uh, your taste. Softness, depending on how soft your clip is, will determine what you want this set at. Um, if we turn it all the way up, you can see the clip almost looks blurry, so kind of dreamy. Um, you turn it all the way down, and uh, your clip is as, as sharp as it was before the plugin was added. Um, I soften this up maybe around 50 or 60 for this particular clip. Again, there's noise here. If we increase the size of this, uh, I'll go ahead and... Um, hide my info palette. I'll press spacebar to audition. I don't know how well you can see in this uh, video, um, but depending on the size of noise that's, or the amount of noise that's added, you can definitely see it there, um, even though the video is uh, quite small right now at 32%. Anyways guys, I hope you like this effect. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you like this content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 40TV. Uh, Till next time, guys.